All right, so this is going to be a, a fairly short video. Um, I had a uh, a person reach out to me on Skype the other day, and he came to me and uh, said that he was working on a team uh, using C Sharp and uh, X and A Studio. They were developing some sort of game, and they have a team member that has a older laptop, and that's all they have, and it compiles their solution very slowly. And one of his questions was, how can we take um, preprocessor directives or something like that and uh, make sections of code conditional uh, for him to compile? So basically what they wanted to do is take different sections of code and make it to where he could... Um, th his original question was, if can we detect the current person that's compiling the code and based on that uh, not compile all this code that takes forever to compile. And the, the objective uh, that they were trying to achieve is that their friend um, or teammate with the slow laptop would be able to skip all that long running uh, all that long running code that takes a long time to compile. So I thought about it and it's not something I would normally do. Normally I would say you should just go ahead and compile the whole thing, but if you're not working on every part of the project, uh, maybe you don't need to. So there is a way to do that, and you can do it using preprocessor directives in C Sharp, which really aren't preprocessor directives, but they, we call them that. And you can also, uh, in conjunction with that, uh, use build configurations. So what we're going to do is I have a small solution here, and we have uh, two function calls, uh, init console and init console ex and then we just have a console.readline method. So let's pretend that if we were compiling this that an init console ex would take maybe 20 minutes to compile. Um, so what we can do is we can we have our two default build configurations. We have debug and release. So we can actually go to our solution and right click it and hit configuration manager. And what we can do up here is we can create a new build configuration and we're going to copy the settings from debug and we're going to call this light debug and click OK and then we're going to do the same thing for the release configuration. And we'll copy from release. And then you can see that we're uh, still using the any CPU platform for both of these new configurations and they're both set to build. So now that we have our two build configurations, if you go up top, you can see that you can select between debug, light debug, light release, and release. But what we want to do now is how do we actually make this a conditional uh, segment of code? Well, we can go to our project properties, and we can go to uh, build, and then I've already uh, specified this earlier when I created the example, but what we want to do is we want to go to the configuration light debug and light release and we want to specify a parameter and we're just going to call it lightweight under conditional compilation symbols. We're going to do the same thing for light release. And you can see that I already have it defined there. And we're going to save that. And now what we have the ability to do is we can use a preprocessor directive and say if lightweight And if, and actually this should be if not lightweight. So what's going to happen is if we're using any build configuration other than lightweight uh, debug and lightweight release, uh, this segment will compile. But if we are using the lightweight config uh, configurations, this won't compile. So if we were to uh, select debug and run this program, you can see that we have our uh, our console title was set and we have an output of instantiated to the console window and that's uh, from our init console ex call. Now if we close that and change to light debug and we run this you'll see that the only thing that we actually have is just our console title so it skipped the init console ex function. It, and not only did it just it it didn't just skip it it actually did not even compile that code. So that was the uh, solution that I had for them, um, just to answer this question quickly and easily. Um, again, nothing uh, really special, just if you run into that scenario where that's a question in your mind, um, you can do something like that. All right, so thank you for watching my video, and I look forward uh, for more to come uh, in the future.